Section thirty seven of the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri, translated by Courtney Langdon. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Purgatorio, Canto three, Ante Purgatory, the repentant who died excommunicated. Although their sudden flight had scattered them over the plain and turned them toward the mount, where justice probes us with its penalties, more closely to my faithful mate I drew. And how without him had I run my race? or who had drawn me up the mountain's side to me he seemed o'erwhelmed with self-reproach o oh, conscience when both dignified and clear how sharp a bite a slight fault is to thee when once his feet had given up the haste which of their dignity deprives all acts my mind to one thought limited at first enlarged its scope with eager interest now and toward that mountain i addressed my gaze which skyward rises highest from the sea the sun which back of us was flaming red in front of me was broken in the shape wherein i lent its rays a resting place i turned and at my side i looked afraid of having been abandoned when i saw the ground was dark in front of me alone when wholly turned my comforter began why still distrustful dost thou not believe that i am with thee and am guiding thee tis evening now where buried lies the body wherein i cast a shadow Naples now possesses it, from Brindisi it was taken. If then in front of me no shadow fall, marvel no more than at the heavenly spheres thou wouldst, which hinder not each other's rays. That power enables bodies such as mine to suffer torments, both of heat and cold, which wills not that its ways be shown to us. Insane is he that hopes our human reason will ever travel o'er the boundless path o'er which one substance in three persons moves. Be satisfied, O human race, with facts, for if you could have seen the cause of all, no need had been for Mary to bear child, and you've seen, vainly longing, men so great that their desire would else have been appeased, which given them is for an eternal grief. I speak of Aristotle, and of Plato, and many others. Here he bowed his head, and saying nothing more, remained disturbed. Meanwhile we had attained the mountain's foot, and there we found the rocky cliff so steep that legs would there be nimble all in vain. Between Lerici and Turbia the loneliest and wildest path is, if compared with that, a safely climbed and easy flight of stairs. Now... Who knows on which side the hill so slopes? Then said my teacher, as he stayed his steps, That he who wingless goes can make the ascent. Meanwhile, as he was questioning his mind about the path, and held his face bowed down, and I was gazing upward round the cliff, upon my left a throng of souls appeared, who toward us moved their feet, yet did not seem to move, so slowly were they coming on teacher said i lift up thine eyes behold on this side people who will give us counsel if thou canst not obtain it from thyself he then looked up and with relief replied let us go toward them for they slowly come and thou sweet son be steadfast in thy hope those people were as yet as far away after a thousand of our steps i mean as a good thrower's hand would reach when all pressed up against the lofty bank's hard mass and stayed there still and huddled up together as when in doubt a walker stops to look virgil began o ye whose end was good o now elected spirits by the peace which i believe ye all look forward to say where the mount so lies that going up be possible for us for loss of time to him who knoweth most is most displeasing as from the fold young sheep are wont to come by ones and twos and threes while timidly the others stay with downcast eyes and muzzle and what the first one doth so do the rest all huddling up to her in case she stop simple and quiet nor yet knowing why even so the leader of that favoured flock i saw start forward then and toward us come modest in face and dignified in gait when those who were in front the light beheld so broken on the ground upon my right that gainst the cliff a shadow fell from me they stopped and backward drew a little way and all the others coming on behind not knowing why they did so did the same without your asking i affirm to you that this you see a human body is 
therefore the sun's light on the ground is broken. Be not surprised, then, but believe that not without a power that cometh down from heaven is he attempting to surmount this wall. My teacher thus, those worthy people then, as with the back part of their hands they waved, said, Turn, then, and ahead of us go in. And one of them began, Whoe'er thou art, as thus thou goest, turn thy face. Recall if thou hast ever seen me in the world. Toward him I turned, and on him fixed my gaze. Blond, handsome, and of noble mien he was, although an eyebrow by a blow was cut. When I had with due modesty disclaimed having e'er seen him there, he said, Now see, and showed me high upon his breast a wound. Then with a smile he said, Manfred am I, the grandson of the Empress Constance. Hence I beg thee that, on thy return, thou go to my fair daughter, mother of the honour of Sicily and Aragon, and, should aught else be told her, tell her thou the truth. After my body by two mortal stabs had been pierced through, in tears I gave myself to that one who forgiveth willingly. My sins were horrible indeed, and yet the goodness infinite hath arms so wide that it receiveth all who turn to it. And if Cosenza's pastor, who by Clement was sent to hunt me down, had then perused this page in God's book, as he should have done, my body's bones would still be lying there, hard by the bridge's head near Benevento, under the keeping of the heavy cairn, bathed by the rain, the wind now blows them round outside the kingdom, near the Verdi's banks, whither he moved them with extinguished lights. Not by their cursing is eternal love so lost, that it cannot return again, as long as hope hath still a speck of green. Tis true that he that dieth in contempt of holy church, though at the very last he may repent, outside this mountain's bank must stay, for all the time that he hath been in his presumption, thirty times as long, unless by good prayers shortened be this ban. See now, if thou canst make me glad, by telling my good Constanza both where thou hast seen me, and of this interdict. For one is here greatly advanced by those that are beyond. End of Purgatorio, Canto Three.